<laughs> All right, let's get started. Um, call the City Marine City Commission meeting to order, Marine City Fire Department, uh, Thursday, October 4th, 7 p.m. Could we please take a moment and bow our heads and respect for those of our dearly departed? And let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Mayor Vandenbosch. Here. Commissioner Avery. Here. Commissioner Hendrick. Here. Commissioner Callahan. Here. Commissioner Colossen. Here. Commissioner Lepley is absent. Commissioner Turner. Here. City Manager Levin. Here. All right, moving on to communications. I um, need the motion to receive and file TIFA meeting minutes August 21st and letter from Friends of City Hall. I make a motion that we receive and file the communications received for this meeting. Support. Motion, support. Any questions or concerns on the communications? Yes, please. Um, on page four, there's an amount that they paid, 35900 Anybody know what that's for? I believe that's the last bond payment for the seawall. Okay. That was approved. Any other questions or concerns? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Moving on to public comment. Anyone in attendance is welcome to address the City Commission. Please state your name and address and please limit your comments to five minutes. Hearing none, moving on to approval of the agenda. Could I get an approval of the agenda minus um, 10A? 10A. We're going to need to take that off. We're still doing some background on that one. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda uh, as amended. Support. Motion, support. Any questions on the agenda? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Moving on to approval of the minutes for City Commission regular meeting September 20th, 2018. So moved. I make a motion that we approve the minutes for the meeting of September 20th. Support. Motion, support. Any questions or deletions or corrections on the minutes? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Um, under new business uh, for the rental housing inspections, the third paragraph, um, I think that I, my, my question was, I, I understood that the dwelling included um, the house but what I was asking was if the, the property that the house was on, such as landscaping and that kind of thing, was also being inspected. Um, the rest, as far as Airbnb, is correct. So putting language in there, asked if a dwelling's surroundings? Yes. That, that, the yard. And the, the yard, and the, yeah. yeah. Any other corrections or deletions? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Carried. Moving on to the consent agenda. I need a motion to approve the 2018 trick or treating schedule, special event permit for Coach Mike Miller's Christmas run, special event permit for Maritime Days 2018 or 2019, uh, the special event permit for Maritime Music in the Maritime Days Music in the Park. 2019 special event permit for the Friendsgiving 5k and one mile walk run memorial walk run and then a uh, business li license for Katie's chop shop new owner mayor yes. um, I make a motion to uh, accept consent agenda items a through F as presented 
report. Any questions on it? Can you read that? Oh, yeah. Just for everybody's. Um, the trick or treat hours will be Wednesday, October 31st from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Any other questions or concerns on it? Roll call vote, please. Commissioner Avery. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Turner. Yes. Mayor Vandebosch. Yes. Uh, next, we're moving on to Ordinance 2018-008, Housing, Rental Housing Inspection, Second Reading and Adoption. Can I get a motion? I'll make a motion to approve Ordinance 2018-008, an ordinance of the City of Marine City, St. Clair County, Michigan, to amend title land usage chapter 155, Housing and Community Development by amending the sections listed to landlords and rentals. Yes, Mr. Avery. I second that motion. I got a motion in a second. Do we have any questions or concerns on it? Anything else to bring up on it? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Turner. Yes. Mayor Vandenbosch. Yes. Commissioner Avery. Yes. All right, moving on to uh, MDOT Safer Out to Schools Resolution Amending. So we have some good news to report that um, the Safe Routes to School project, which the bids came in over the amount that we got the grant for, uh, we actually are getting a boost in our grant amount for the federal funds from 428000 to 449000 We don't have the exact numbers about what our share would be, but obviously they're going to be picking up the chunk, a large chunk of the increased cost from that bid. So we're just looking for an approval for the amended contract. So can we get a motion to approve the amended contract? Mr. Avery. I make a motion that we approve the amended contract for the Safe Routes to Schools. Support. support. Motion and support. Any questions on it? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Turner. Yes. Mayor Vandenbosch. Yes. Commissioner Avery. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. All right, moving on to the Historical Society of Marine City Mosaics. Good evening, Heather Bockram. I'm with the Historical Society of Marine City. And I know you received information on the parks uh, and the, the potential placement of the mosaics. And I you know, you probably have more questions rather than me go on and on. <laughs> yeah, I had a couple on some of the placements. We were, we talked about putting them in landscaping and you're, some of them are actually in green belt areas. Are we making them into? Well, if we were to, whoops, be allowed to uh, put them in Nautical Mile Park, um, then it, it would require us to do some small landscape areas if we were to put two in there because it's all green space. Uh, if you look at that particular page, there's a slight correction in the direction of the one uh, on the left side of the page. The angle of that one is slightly different the trees um, run more from, well, at an angle, but from north to south at a slight angle towards the east. Um, so that angle would be slightly different. There's nothing there but grass between the trees. Mm -hmm. The same thing on the right side. And those are smallish areas which we would have to landscape probably with an area, I would say about eight feet by five at the most, and in order to put um, 
some small shrubs around the outside of the um, platform. So we did have um, one, one of the people that would like to um, own one of the mosaics had talked about Nautical Mile. Uh, then if you go back to the uh, Civic Women's Club, um, <clears throat> they had thought perhaps one where the tree is, but I had a look at that, and I don't think that's possible because that tree has got big roots. So they then um, have thought that the one down by the water, uh, <clears throat> which is marked in there, would be a perfect site for one of the mosaics, and they would like to have, I think they're, they asked, the, the people I talked to really want to do it, but they were going to uh, make sure that this was okay with the society. So you'll see that there are eight potential placings, but of course we are only looking at eight mosaics, but these just wanted to give you as many as we could. The one on Broadway Park, I had already spoken to the Garden Club. They maintain that park. So the one, um, <clears throat> that, that corner area at Broadway and South Water, um, they have the sign with the big hydrangeas, but behind that and angling actually towards Water Street is a perfect area. They have nothing there and it would add to, to that uh, landscaped area. And then they also had a couple of other areas that would work also. We decided that, you know, that being in landscaped areas that would interfere less with anything, plus these have deep footings. So, you know, you want to be able to, you don't want to have to dig up a whole bunch of sod to, to do that. Besides which, that would make it harder for the people cutting the grass. Absolutely. Yes, Lisa. Um, um, and can, then, I'm sorry. Can you give me the total size of one of these, the top? You gave us the height, but not the total size. The uh, <clears throat> size from side, to, well, hold on a sec. Go back. I know that they are <clears throat> a little under five feet wide. Let's see. Uh, and then the the uh, front to back is 36 inches, three feet. Um, they would be at an angle, so they won't take that whole space um, front to back, you know, when it's at an angle. So um, the, the proposed uh, footings and um, design that we have for the platforms um, they estimate that uh, approximately one foot at the front edge raising to about two feet at the back edge. And how okay. deep is the footing? The footing is, let's see, I've got so many pieces of paper here. Uh, okay, going back to the the slab on one was 52 inches by 36. Okay. Now let me go to another. The footings, uh, four foot four inches by three feet by 42 inches deep. 
Um, I went around to all the parks to take a look at some of these spots. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so in the Broadway Park, the one that you got behind, I, I, I'm looking at my pictures because it's easier. Okay. The one that's in the mound, um, is there any issues with that electrical? Okay, so that's, there's a big electrical box that's right, I don't know if I can do this, there's a big <laughs> electrical box that's right next to where you want to put that. <clears throat> so that's why I'm asking him. Okay. Um, so that could cause you some. Okay. It, I know when, can I come and look? Because I can't really here, see. Here, I'll, I'll come here. Yeah, please. Because it looked like it was a wide open space, but. It's this box. Yeah, that's okay. an electrical panel. The, the power comes in from the back side of this panel. Okay. So, you, and then also, so now if we were here. I have a sprinkler system all in through there. You're going to have to move the sprinkler system. Okay. And every one of these berms. That's this, this right. one. Right. Now, how about okay. over those, there's, those are okay? No, well, there's no? sprinkler systems in there, too. <laughs> Here's my question. This, this one here, this has a bicycle. Thing yes, right so where it wasn't going ideal. Here, here? It was going to be here, be and it wasn't the best place. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. And then on the other and the side, the other side was here. Oh, I'm this. sorry. That's all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. This side here's the corner. Yes. So is it on this side of the corner? This is the street sure, would be here. So. Um, <laughs> sorry. I, I don't remember it's exactly, but I mean, yeah, yeah. place it would ever work <laughs> best. Okay. So it's in with the those plants. Mike, yes. have you reviewed all of these locations? No, I have not. I just got this Friday or Thursday. Do you yeah. think it would I mean, be we'd wise? We'd have to talk together. Yeah. Do you think it would be wise if you yeah. two yes. met? Absolutely. There's a lot of issues. Well, every, every place they have these, except for Nautical Park, either sits on electrical <laughs> or in my yeah. sprinkler system. Maybe yeah. we should. One in Civic Women's, you're right on the table. Table this and let those two meet. The whole park. Hey, Mike, how about if we ask to table this until you guys can work yes, this out that, a little bit and then we'll okay. go from there? That, that would be great. Get everything. All right. Yeah, good. Today. Today. Get a motion to table. This. I'll make a motion to table this. Support. Any other questions? Yes. Well, can we have a date on that? Uh, next meeting. Like next the meeting. Next meeting. Next meeting. Good. Thank you. Get it taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions or concern on table? I'll save them till next time. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Uh, next, we're skipping over the mutual aid water agreement. Moving on to disbursements, including payroll. Yes, Mr. Avery. I make a motion that we approve the expenditure of $300,683.86 to cover payroll for this period. Support. Motion support. Any questions on paying the bills? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Clausen? Yes. Commissioner Turner? Yes. Mayor Van and Bosch? Yes. Commissioner Avery? Yes. Commissioner Hendry? Yes. Commissioner Callahan? Yes. Commissioner Carey? Moving on to city manager's report. I attended the DTE open house last week. That was actually very um, well attended, I would say. Quite a bit of people there to learn a little bit more about DTE, the things that they do for the communities, and also, of course, their um, planned power plants up there. I also had a broadband committee meeting today that I attended. A um, couple of things that it, I have been contacted by some companies regarding uh, cell phone service in the city and also fiber optics, so um, internet service. So we may have something on the agenda in the near future regarding both of those issues. Um, there is a grant opportunity through the Wilson Foundation via Community Foundation for either rehab or new construction for mixed use um, courts. So I went with Mike and took a look at our basketball court out at King Road. Uh, we probably will have um, a, 
a, I guess, potential grant to grant application that we'll be putting in we'll be bringing forth an idea for you guys to take a look at and consider uh, the grant is a 50 50 match so there would be some recreation funds that would have to be spent for that um, it could potentially be a win-win for the community to bring some more diversity and options to that park over there so that's all i've got anyone have any questions for the city manager how'd you find out about that one email oh okay I was fanned out from Community Foundation. I'm, I was I'm on hoping their our list. grant writer was oh. um, digging into it. Oh. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> anything, anything else for the city manager? If not, moving on to commissioner privilege. Mr. Avery, would you like to start us today? Well, obviously, I want to mention that we'll be having the pumpkin palooza mm -hmm. uh, it'll be over by the time the video is out but hopefully enough people will have been there and had a good time um, i've only got a couple more meetings to attend as i've become an old uh, lame duck i think um, I would like to express a little unhappiness with some of the way that we do business. And it starts out with the Michigan law that says commissioners can't meet together to discuss anything. So anything we do is right here. And it probably has noticed that we don't have much discussion on things. Um, I hope things will be better in the next group of people coming through, but it just seems like we overlook things and sort of just rubber stamp a lot of things that come along. Uh, That's enough for right now. Thank you. Mr. Clausen. Well, I see they got Chartier all tore up with the sidewalks for the crossing for the school. <coughs> and uh, just one is uh, hopefully that we hold off the rain for this weekend. <laughs> and uh, we'll all have a good time carving pumpkins again this year. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just want to report that uh, the startup school that we had this past weekend was a huge success. There was about 190 participants um, involved. Um, they were in breakout sessions at the Mariner and at the Sweet Tooth and at the Chamber Office um, at Riverbank. And then uh, so I think we had some local merchants and locals that did a good job with their little breakouts. Um, so. We have some entrepreneurs who may have gotten a little bit of an eye opening to some things and maybe not, but I think it was a good experience for everyone and they're, they're talking about maybe wanting to come back next year, so that'll be good so we can just grow that. And I uh, just want to, yeah, just ditto uh, the Pumpkin Palooza. Everybody just come on out, have fun. It's, you know, uh, fingers crossed for weather, <laughs> so good weather. Um, I guess the only thing is uh, make sure everybody gets out and sees the straw barrel decorations that everybody's been putting out for the for the pumpkin palooza. Everybody did some real nice um, decorations. Um, yeah, it, it's uh, it's going to be a good weekend. Let's hope we'll just have some good weather. Um, on a sadder note, we had to put to rest one of our uh, business leaders and one of our social leaders in the community. I mean, Tom Garwood passed away, and uh, he's iconic for the community. A lot of uh, yeah. a lot of people know the famous Gar Burger, but he did a lot for the community. He sat on many boards. He sat on HIPAA. He sat on the Maritime Days, and we seem to be losing quite a few of our older uh, leaders. And we need people to step up and. Uh, 
Tom did a lot, and a lot of people didn't. He didn't take credit for a lot of the things he did. He did things anonymously, and people today, a lot of people don't do that. And uh, it, he did it because he, he loved the community, and he was great to the community. I mean, we all had issues with everyone in this community, but he's, he's one of the guys that he knew he was there, and he took good care of a lot of the young sport, sports groups and sponsored a lot of teams through his uh, career. So hearts go out to Penny, and hopefully everything, uh, she can move on. After that, I'd like to call for adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn. Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.